Dana-Farber is the kind of place where uh, we place a huge premium on mentorship. Everybody moves ahead because somebody has helped them here. Chuck Stiles was a um, professor in our Department of Cancer Biology, and I did my postdoctoral training with Chuck. Chuck was the person who taught me how to be a scientist, taught me how to think critically, taught me how to evaluate experiments. Those are just invaluable lessons. It was Jim Conway who said to me, Karen, there's never a challenge, there's always an opportunity. And I think I've lived my life with that in mind. There is never a challenge, there's always an opportunity. And so Jim was one of the individuals who saw this opening around Dana-Farber Harvard Cancer Center. At, at the start of it, it was called the uh, Assistant Director for Minority Initiatives. And he just, he saw something in me that, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure I saw in myself. And over the period that Jim was with me and with, with us here at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, he always had a door open. It's been great to mentor um, women faculty and understand how they can really feel successful in their careers, balancing their careers and, and outside, outside life with their families and making sure that's really being attended to and making that happen for them. Probably the one person who has had the most impact on me in my career is Larry Shulman. It really was due to Larry and his role um, that I think I was presented with so many opportunities. That goes for the IT work, um, it goes for building the satellites, uh, and the global work. He and I took care of patients uh, that we followed for 20 or 25 years together. I would say that I had um, different mentors for different areas that I was involved with. Certainly Dorothy Pui, who was there and supported me for you know over a quarter of a century. So one of my mentors in nursing here at Dana-Farber was Susan Grant. And she taught me so much about nursing, leadership, and compassion um, for both patients and staff. She, she just was an amazing um, leader. I have two mentors that stand out, um, one of whom is Michael Hubner, who was the director of care coordination for many years, who has since passed, but was an incredible leader, was a visionary, and was one of the kindest people I've ever met. And I never felt in any way restricted. I felt like I could do anything and that any idea was up for discussion um, and something to be thought through. And the second person who also made me feel that way was Carolyn Hayes, who was a nurse director for many years, who was my boss. Um, and she similarly, with her infectious laugh that you could hear through the halls, made it really clear that together we could work toward all these great things for our patients and families.